So I'd just like to firstly thank the Brain Foundation for this generous gift, also the scientific committee, and um, or the committee itself, and also my family and my partner Greta who's here. Um, so th the focus of my research is really to develop a liquid biopsy for neurodegeneration. So what is a liquid biopsy? Really it's um, the analysis of cell-free DNA. And so cell-free DNA are little bits of DNA that float around within our blood system, in our blood. And they come in a variety of different forms. In mothers expecting you can find cell-free DNA from the fetus itself. In cancer patients you can find cell-free DNA of the cancer. And so using the analysis of this, these fragments, we can diagnose um, genetic disorders um, at, before birth, and we can track cancer patients and diagnose cancer patients. So really I wanted to generate a method for um, analysing cell-free DNA in neurology. Um, and this has a great potential because you don't need to directly biopsy these hard to reach tissues, such as the brain. So with the generous gift of the Brain Foundation, um, we've begun working um, on developing a technology um, that can identify brain-derived cell-free DNA. And we will apply this to um, initially to frontal temporal dementia pa patients. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the, um, this, the frontal temporal dementia comes in uh, a number of subtypes. Um, the, broadly speaking, it's a there's a behavioural subtype that's associated with behavioural changes. And then there's a um, primary progressive aphasia that's associated with language um, disturbances. And it's not so surprising that the um, degeneration in the brain occurs in regions that are responsible for the function of behaviour and and, and speech in these, in these patients. And so what we're going to do um, is, is um, what, this, what this funding allows us to do is generate new markers for these regions that are lost in these patients. And through this, we'll be able to profile the bloods of patients and subtype frontal temporal dementia through the blood. We'll also be able to hopefully diagnose um, frontal de temporal dementia from the blood. Now this has a broad application to neurodegenerative um, diseases generally, um, but um, and, uh, in, basically it creates a, it will hopefully create a blood-based te test that's cheap and, um, and can be applied on a population level. Um, so that a clinician in a, in a general follow-up um, can apply this to a, a potential um, a patient or in a pre-symptomatic stage um, and, and potentially uh, ad identify patients um, that haven't even pro um, progressed with clinical symptoms yet. So again, I'd just like to thank the Brain Foundation for all their generous support. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much.